Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is John Renault Christie in the brand new gray color called Moonlight. I think the code is 92 for this color. It's a brand new gray. They have three new grays that just released. I have all three. I've already shown you Peppercorn. This is Moonlight. If you want to know more about this color and a little bit about this wig, since I have reviewed Christy in the past, then stick around. I want to thank Name Brand Wigs for partnering with me on the review of all three of the new John Renault gray colors. I've already shown you Peppercorn. Like I said, this is Moonlight. It's adorable. If you've not checked out Name Brand Wigs, I encourage you to go to their website. The next time you're in the market for a wig, it is www.namebrandwigs.com. They are a trusted resource of mine and have been since the beginning of my wig wearing journey, long before I ever partnered with them on reviews. I made lots of purchases from them before I ever started reviewing for them. And they're wonderful. They have a lot of support. They have great customer service. If you're struggling on the wig wearing journey, you can email them, support at namebrandwigs.com, and they can help you. All right, let's take a look at this one from all sides. Now, I do have a review of Christy that I it was, I've actually a few videos showing Christy, and I reviewed this one in a gray color. Um, I think it was 39 was the color code. I'm kind of looking at my computer because I had it up just to refresh my memory that of which one I reviewed. And so if you are in the market for gray, you can go check out my other Christy review and see it in the color 39 so you get a good comparison of a couple of different grays, which is super, super fun. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this wig because you can go see my other review, although because I'm partnering with Name Brand Wigs, I do, and they do link my reviews whenever I partner with them to the product page. I do want that product page to have a little bit of information on this style. There are timestamps in the description, so if you're here only for the color, you can skip ahead straight to the color section by going down to the description and, and clicking on the time in the timestamp. Now Christy is a fully hand tied bob. If you are not financially able to afford a fully hand tied cap because these are quite expensive, check out Kristen which is the non-hand tied version of this style and it has a lace front. I do have a review of Kristen, a couple of different Kristens as well. And I just wanted to throw that out there at first because I do see a lot of comments when I show these higher end, more pricey synthetic wigs that people just can't always afford them. And so I wanted to make sure you had an alternate uh, alternative if this one wasn't going to be in the cards for you. Now it is a bob with some slight layers, not a heavily layered piece at all, and is incredibly realistic. John Renault fibers are, I would say, a, a cross between a dry and a silky, and they're, they're quite realistic looking. And it, they're a, a little bit of a heavier denier. Some brands are more of a lighter, wispy, finer fiber, like those who have fine hair. This one is just a little bit thicker. I would say, you know, it's someone with sort of medium denier hair, not thick and coarse hair, but medium denier hair. And it's very, very sleek, uh, a very kind of sleek, straight style with just ever so slight flips on the end because of how they did this cut. It's not a terribly flippy piece, but every now and then you can, you'll can you see that throughout this, depending on how I play with it, the ends want to flip just a little bit. You could always trim it up a little bit, or um, you, know, you could take steam and a round brush if you wanted to get rid of some of those flippies, but really kind of natural movement, a real favorite. A lot of people love, love Christy. I would consider this a kind of medium density. It's very lightweight though. It's like three and a half ounces or something like that. And it's, so it's kind of like the healthy hair density. I wouldn't call it thick density. I wouldn't call it super low density. It's really in between. And because it has a hand tied cap, it has no permatease. Every now and then 
a manufacturer will throw some permatease on a hand tied cap, but that is incredibly rare. And this one has no permatease. So it doesn't have any poof. If you struggle with no lift or volume sort of at the top, this one really doesn't have that. It's, it's kind of a rounded bob. You can see how it's settled in just now, the last time I played with it. Uh, but it's really kind of sleek. And there's no poof, not voluminous. This is definitely one if you like straight bobs and you struggle with being overwhelmed with wigs or with permatees, this could be a great one to check out because it, it doesn't have any Let's of that. Let's take a look at the lace front on this one, which is so excellent. Look at that lace front right there. I like to pick them up so that you can see where the lace is and then look at it melt. And because this is such a light color, no knotting. So if you're looking at this lace front but this isn't the color for you and you tend to wear darker brunettes or rooted colors, sometimes you can see a little bit of knotting with those but this one, it's so stunning. And it's got a full mono top and so you can part it anywhere you want to on the top. All of this is parting space. So you don't have to part it where I have it parted. You can part it anywhere you want on the top. All of this is hand tied. Supernatural movement when a when a hair when a synthetic fiber is hand tied into a cap, it moves supernaturally like bio hair because it can move all around on the axis of that knot as opposed to a weft really limited in movement on wefted wigs. And you've got all of that hand tied. And also, if you wear a light colored wig cap underneath it, or if you don't have any hair, or if you have blonde hair, and this the wind blows it, you try to style it, it's going to look like scalp underneath here. If you have darker hair, sometimes it, you won't be able to really tell, it just won't look quite like scalp, but so, so natural. And then we have an extended nape and Velcro adjusters, soft ear tabs with bendable stays, really nice cap, and it's a really light color to go with the light color of this wig. Beautiful, super premium cap. So as far as fit, John Renault caps run very true to average. They are, um, you know, kind of smack dab in the middle of average typically. I would say that this has really excellent stretch. So definitely some flexibility in how it fits. I have a 22 inch circumference and it fits me with a little bit of room. I do cinch it in just a little bit. And I do tend to get some extra bulky cap at the top. And I have a very petite over the top of my head measurement. So I would say true to average, very, very kind of standard cap size. Uh, and with the stretch that it has, it will fit a lot of different people. All right, let's talk about color. Moonlight, brand new gray. This is a very silver color. I would say this is a, kind of a cool light gray, very silvery. And then it blends seamlessly with darker gray at the nape. And you can kind of see some of that darker gray poking through. Which makes it so fun. Now this gray is the kind of gray that people are jealous of. Because it's just so sophisticated and flattering. It's a really brilliant blend of some silver and some white. You know, it really doesn't pull kind of a brown. Sometimes in these grays, you'll get a little bit of a brown cast to it. I'm really not seeing that. Let's see if I can get this nape. So you can kind of see a little bit of that darker nape. It's not extreme, not at all. And it just makes this color pop down there and gives it some interest. No rooting. It's a lot lighter on the top. In that sense, it looks really, really natural. So it's just a beautiful, very well blended with just a little bit of darker color at the nape, but no rooting, no low lights, very silvery, cool. Beautiful, beautiful color. I'll let you see it one last time on my head and then we will get outside so that you can see this color outside. Just gorgeous. Look at that top. just beautiful. All right, everybody, let me know if you have any questions about this. I'm happy to help. Let's get outside. This is out of the box. I did nothing but brush it, brush through it. Nothing at all. I didn't have to hang it. I didn't have to spray it with, spray it with water. I didn't have to use any product. I just had to kind of 
you know, comb it, try to get that part a little bit, and that's it. So really, really great out of the box. Easy, easy. Okay, let's go outside. Right, everyone, here we are. Direct afternoon sunlight. What a beautiful afternoon here. We've had some really bad weather lately. Such a pretty color. All right. I really love the flow of this wig. It's fun to do that when you don't have hair that you can do that with. Okay, everyone, hope that helped you guys. Okay, it is unboxing time. So you can see what Christy looked like out of the box. I almost didn't tack this one on because, I mean, straight bobs like this without permatease tend to look really good out of the box. They don't generally have bad box hair. You know, you don't have permatease to really get compacted down. I was excited to see this color because I hear from a lot of you looking for grays like this. So hopefully this will be the answer to a wish for some of you. But see what I mean, you guys? It's just so perfect out of the box. I mean, obviously zigzag part, you know, figuring all of that out, but would be really, really easy to tell if it's a, a good style for you versus some of those that can get such bad box hair. And the movement is so good, as you can see as I was playing with it. Great, great looking wig. Thanks for watching, everybody.